This is my review of the Crosshair converter. Converts PS3 to PS4, um, so you can use your old steering wheels. Uh, previously owned the uh, Brook Super Converter, but wasn't happy with the overall kind of feedback and having to adjust it for every game. This is the device that will actually mimic um, a more expensive steering wheel. So I'm currently using the Logic Drive Force GT wheel, and this would actually make it mimic that I'm using a Logitech G29 wheel. Um, basically, it comes in a nice fancy box. It comes with this, and it also comes with um, a lead to plug in directly to your computer and also to the PlayStation. Um, this device is not preloaded, and you will need a Windows computer um, to upload the, the the software to it. Um, but it is very simple. It comes with instructions. You, you click, um, you go onto the website, uh, click on the download button, download the software to your computer, and then simply upload it onto the actual device. Then you select the games that you want to use um, on the device, download them, save it, and it is as simple as that. Then get the device, and then the device is actually plugged into your uh, PlayStation. So how simple is it to connect to the PlayStation? First of all, you need to connect the leads to the device first, not to the PlayStation. So the lead provider will connect here. On the left hand side, you will actually connect your controller. It has to be an original. And then one of these two ports, you would connect your steering wheel. Once you've connected it, then connect it to the PlayStation when it's turned off. Turn the PlayStation on and then this will actually go through different colours until it gets to what it's called breathing which is this kind of bluey white colour and it's kind of in a kind of breathing type of pattern once it's white you will hear your steering wheel um, set up and you just simply press the PS button and the X button and it's good to go so how does it work on the games well I've got the main titles which are Prodigy Cars 2, Dirt Rally Assessor Corsa, uh, F1 2017, Gran Turismo and Drive Club. So let's start on a, a Assessor Corsa. Uh, it works fantastic on there. Simple, just plug in and play and then you can just tweak with your force feedback settings. The same on uh, Dirt Rally. Project Cars, always been a difficult one. Um, I've uploaded the settings. Um, it thinks it's obviously a G29 wheel but you always have to, for some reason on this game, regardless we're in a controller or not, adjust the settings uh, to suit your driving style. And I've uploaded a video for this. Uh, Drive Club, simply plug in and play. Um, no problems whatsoever. Um, F1 2017, exactly the same. All these games, uh, once set up, you'd have real force feedback and you can use the wheel as it should you know, be used. Um, so if you are going to buy an adapter, then it is worth you know spending a little bit extra money and getting something that actually works, gives you proper force feedback rather than mimicking a controller and sending vibration through the steering wheel, which just equals a lot of noise. So if you've got any questions, just give me a, a bell via the comments and I'll try and get back to you. Cheers.